16,000 kilometres from home, the team from Ghana has done the training and is hungry for competition. But they arrived this week with no coach and broken bikes. Everything mechanical that wears down and breaks did show up here worn and broken. Not really fit for taking on the best in the Commonwealth. Honestly speaking, none of us have been running on a, um, a brand new tyres and some pass and we'll be using an automated pass. Then came a chance meeting with Peter Spencer, the owner of GC Bike Fit. He's now Team Ghana's cycling coach. Boys, please get ready for you to go. Do we have water? Do we have food? The word went out through social media and the response was overwhelming. Thousands of dollars in tyres and equipment have been donated. This is the most amazing show of the underdog I've ever seen in cycling. And not just for the road bikes. Tandem cycles used for blind cyclists and specialist tyres for racing wheelchairs also get an upgrade. That's exactly what it is, is about bringing people together and then helping each other out. The spirit of cool runnings right here in Queensland. Feel the rhythm! Feel the ride! By coincidence, the Jamaican team landed on the Gold Coast this afternoon. Led by the world's fastest woman. I'm always confident. The Commonwealth is coming, just two weeks to go.